hello guys welcome to another apache guacamole video uh today we'll be talking about rdp or remote desktop server remote application so a recent version of windows provide a feature which is called remote app which allow individual applications such as microsoft office applications or even a web browser such as chrome to be accessed over rdp without getting the full desktop environment so you can also do this with apache guacamole but in order to do this you're going to need um, to install the microsoft remote desktop services which is free for 119 days if you are going to use the free version or um, there is another application that we can download and use to achieve the same thing so today i'm going to show you guys how we can set this up and i will we'll talk about the differences between uh microsoft's remote desktop services and uh, um, remote app tool by kim knight on github so if you notice here i have apache guacamole and using this remote app feature we can be able to um access specific applications in our apache guacamole so you can access a specific application on a windows machine such as google chrome uh, this way you can provide your users will have access to apache guacamole with a single application unlike providing them with the whole desktop experience so without wasting much time i'm going to show you guys how to set this up and we will start by using the remote desktop services So to use remote desktop services or the RDS platform, um, you're going to need a Windows Server machine. Um, for this video, we are going to use a Windows Server 2022. And once you have your Windows Server 2022 up and running, you're going to have to go onto the manage and you're going to add roles and features. So you want to select the remote desktop services installation and for most of you you're going to select the quick start option and once that's complete you want to select the session based desktop deployment and keep going next until you complete the installation so assuming you were able to successfully install um, the rds service it is going to require a reboot so once the installation is complete and you've rebooted your windows server the next thing you want to do is open up the rds services on that machines and you want to create a new collection by default there is a, co a collection already created for you um, you can use that or you can delete it and create your own collection so once you create that collection type you want to make sure um, the domain users for the user group are assigned to be able to use the remote apps if your Windows Server machine is joined to a domain. In this case, this option is best for those of you who are using this in an organization and you have many users and you want to be able to have them use specific applications only with your Apache Guacamole. The only downside to this option once again is that the rds server is only free for 119 days and once that trial period expires you're gonna have to purchase licenses so if you just wanted to test this at home this is fine you can go ahead and use this so once you have that set up at the bottom you get the option to add the remote app programs as you can see i have four remote app programs added here i added google chrome explorer and intellij which is a um, ide which you can use to write code or program using different programming languages i also have the sublime text added you can add as many applications as you want by going to publish a remote app and going to the c drive and select the application you want to add and add it into your application list in this case we're just going to work with these applications i have added on here and once you add the application and you publish it it is going to display here at these remote app programs so once you have that published the next thing you want to do is head over to your apache guacamole server and you want to head over to settings connections and i'm going to start with the chrome if you see on here you want to fill this up 
as if you are creating an RDP connection. So you will select RDP, give it a name, and you will put in the network IP address and the port number. Make sure you select to ignore server certificate. And you want to come all the way at the bottom where it says remote app. And you want to enter the application name. So once you're done entering the application name, note the application name has to match the name of the application here. So the name has to either be the program name, preferably you can use the alias, which is what I'm using in Apache Guacamole. So once you have the alias entered, you want to hit save. And if you head over back to the home page, and if we select the Chrome, and once you enter your username and password and continue, you should be presented with your Google Chrome browser. Here you can browse your Google Chrome as normal by entering, for example, we can go to a regular website like geektogether.com. And now you can browse freely without accessing your whole desktop environment. This way you can give users permission to access specific applications on the browser as if they were in your internal network. So if we close this and disconnect, as you can see, I also did the same thing for another application, which is IntelliJ. The steps are the same. You just have to go to connections make sure everything is entered the host name the port you ignore the server certificate and you want to make sure you enter the remote app program name and once you have that done if we head back over to the home page and if we open intellij and login you can see our intellij application is loading and once that loads up we can go ahead and create a new project and we can start programming using our IntelliJ IDE. Another example we can use this for is we can also create shares so users can access shares on the browser either to open files or view files using the Explorer. So in order for you to do this, you're going to have to head back to your um, server manager to your RDS server and you want to create a new app or add a new app for um, the Explorer. So you're gonna go to C Windows and you add the explorer.exe and under the parameters option, you want to always use the following command line parameter and add a share. This way, every time the user opens up um, the Explorer application, it is gonna present them with that share. Note for this, the user have to be logging in um to apache guacamole with a user account and password that has access to that shared drive so once you have that set up once again you head back to your apache guacamole and you want to create a new connection in our case i already have a connection here rdp enter the host name and the rdp port ignore the server certificate and below you're just going to put the program alias which is explorer and once you save that and you head over back to the home page, if you open the NAS option now and log in, you can see we're presented with Explorer and now we have access to that shared drive. So this brings us to the end of the first part, which is setting up remote applications using the remote desktop services. For the next part, we're going to talk about using the free remote app tool by Kim Knight on GitHub. So before making this video, I was looking for a free tool that is going to be kind of like an alternative to the Microsoft RDS server. RDS server has its advantages because multiple users can use it at the same time. But again, it is not free. You have to use the license for it. If you're like me and you're using Apache Guacamole for your personal use, you might want to use the remote app tool. The advantage of the remote app tool is it is free and open source and you can install it on any Windows system, be it Windows 7, 8, 10, XP or Windows Server. Note, if you're using anything other than Windows Server, it has to be the Pro version. 
so for example windows 10 you have to use windows 10 pro because only the pro versions of windows support rdp or remote desktop once you have that situated um, the next thing you need to do to be able to use this app you need three things the first thing you're going to need to install microsoft.net framework 3 or 4 um, i noticed that 4 doesn't want to work with the wix tool set version 3 so if you try using .NET Framework 4 and it doesn't work, then you can use .NET Framework 3. So you can download that on the Microsoft um, website or on the .NET Framework website. I will leave the links to all the requirements or in the description section below and you can just click on them and download them. The next thing you're going to need is the Wix Toolset version 3. You have to download the Wix Toolset version 3 as well in order to be able to use this free tool so once you've downloaded and installed both of these tools the next thing now you're going to download is the remote app tool itself you download the installer for the latest version and install it on your windows machine so once i head over to my windows server machine if you take a look i have the application already installed so i installed the dotnet 3.5 i installed the win the wix 3.1.1 and i installed the remote app tool so once the installation is complete, you should see an app on your desktop that looks like this, Remote App 2. Once you open the app, this is how it should look. So for now, I have three applications added, and I'm just going to show you guys how you can add these applications. What you need to do is select the plus sign, and then you're going to have to go to your program files and select the application you want to add. In my case, I selected the Chrome.exe here which I have and once you have that done that's all you need to do head back to your Apache guacamole application and if you look on here I have a Chrome 2 which is what I have set up for um, the remote app tool from github so you want to make sure you set up the RDP the same the host name or the IP address the port number ignore the server certificate and then you put the program name so here, if you notice, you can also change the program names. For example, if I double click on this, you can change the name and the full name of the application. But you can also leave it as default, but make sure whichever name is here in the title is the same name that you have to put in Apache Guacamole. So once you have that done, you're going to save that and head back to the home page in your connections. And you're going to open up and enter your username and password. So if you notice, the disadvantage of this is only one user can use it at a time. So unlike the Microsoft RDS where it creates sessions and multiple users can log into that, this, that same Windows machine or Windows Server machine and use different applications because it uses kind of a session type connection. With this, only one user can log in at the same time. Once again, if you're using this at home, there is no disadvantage it should be good for you so you say yes and what that's going to do is log me out of this system and once you do that you are now presented with your chrome browser session only so as you can see i don't have any desktop environment i only have permissions to use the chrome browser and this is how you can use the remote app tool which is free on github to be able to deploy specific applications on your windows machine on apache guacamole thank you for watching i hope this video helps you set up your remote app for apache guacamole please do not forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel